Well, good morning, guys. I got to get up and walk around. I've been sitting in that stupid office since a little after four this morning. It is Farm Business Management Day. And what that does is tells us our cost of anything. If we go to sell corn, it tells us how much we need to get per bushel of corn, soybeans, how much per ton of alfalfa. On fat steers, it helps us track steer costs. So if a fat market is at $1.10, can we afford to sell at $1.10 or do we need to wait? Um, so it really helps on every aspect of the farm. It helps us analyze uh, equipment, equipment that if you keep dumping money into it every year for the last five years, it might be time to get rid of it or it helps you um, see how good some of the equipment is, when it's time to replace, and when you can afford to replace, things like that. We also keep live running balance sheets on the computer or on, on the QuickBooks there. So at any time you can pull up a loan and see how much you have left for payoff. So if you had a great year, you know, let's say this year just is an absolute bin buster. We are just like rolling in corn and soybeans and alfalfa. Don't know what to do with it all. Um, we can look up our loan balances super quick and see like which ones we'd want to pay off early. Oh God, that'd be awesome if that happened. <laughs> um, it's, we all like to daydream. Um, but, but yeah, so he, I've been in the office. I'm going to go back in there because what we got to do is take our February projection that we used based on historical numbers of costs and production and we made a projection and got some per bushel prices on on how to figure a cash flow and, and then show to the banks like see we can kind of pay our bills almost sort of um and now we will enter all the actual numbers and we will enter so we'll enter all the actual expenses you know on the corn and soybean side you got the seed fertilizer land rent uh fuel repairs the equipment payments, all that stuff gets broke down into the per acre, which gets broke into per bushel. Uh, but then we also have the contracts that I've made. So based off of this spring, there was a price per bushel for each crop. I contracted better prices than that. And then we'll, so them get added in. Um, so right now, 50% of the corn crop is marketed at, at, you know, let's just say 350 for easy numbers, say 350. And our cost at that time was 320. So that, that gave us a good 30% bushel. Uh, we did better, you know, almost 10%. So then we can put that in there. And then if we're looking at the crops and saying, well, we, we guesstimated we'd hit a 135, but looking this year, everything is looking a couple weeks ahead. Everything is looking fantastic. Maybe we could bank on the fact that we're probably gonna have closer to a 145 or 150 average. So then we can put that in there and it will show our new cost of production. So the rest of the corn maybe now might say, well, as long as you're above 310, you know, 310 is your break even. And so go ahead and mark it. We don't want to, this is not the time to be boastful to yourself. This is not the time where you're like, this is a 180 bushel year. And then you tell him to enter 180, he enters 180 and says, well, your cost of production is 275 um, for the rest of the unmarketed corn. And the market hits 330 and you're just like, boom, made 50 cents a bushel. Look how rich I'm going to be when your actual, per, your actual production was 150 and your actual cost of production was 350 and you marketed all your grain for 330 because you thought you were so awesome and you just lost 20 cents a bushel on the second half of production so we got to be super accurate with these numbers and that's why it's, it's very important to me to do this because this is how i figure out how i spend money save money where we can start you know then we're tracking um your dollars and see okay where did we get kind of carried away? Where can we save money? You know, how is everything working? Um, so it, it's just a great tool to use, uh, especially on the beef side, because that sometimes on beef production, it's kind of can get a little bit difficult to track all the numbers, but we're tracking, you know, the fencing expenses and, and then, you know, they have to pay for their land that they're on and, and and they have to pay for some hours on the equipment and stuff like that. 
Um, so it really helps be super accurate. Same with the alfalfa. The alfalfa field has to pay that land rent. It has its own fertility expenses. It has its own equipment and repairs. So if we are using the tractor, so we, we kind of spread the the tractor expenses and things like that just kind of across all the acres. Um, but if one acre or if one crop is getting a tremendously more hours, like on a dairy farm, let's say you'd have, um, you might have 15% of your farm in soybeans, um, but you know, you got 30% of the farm in alfalfa. Well, that alfalfa, if you're chopping a couple cuttings a year, um, you're going to have several tractors that get a ton more hours and a ton more cost and maintenance on that hay ground than that bean ground. So, so there you can adjust your cost of equipment around a little bit. And so it's just the farm business manager that comes and that whole process with the QuickBooks and it ties into our precision equipment of tracking bushels by the field uh, down to the square foot. So we know what each field can produce. So when we do projections today, we can say, well, these three fields are on fire. Let's move them to 160. This field's looking really good. He's going to be a 150. These couple fields are a little bit behind or they're new to us. Um, so let's bring them down a little bit because we don't know what to expect. And so we can really, really, really fine tune that sucker to be as accurate as we can. And that's the whole point. Um, guys, I'm going to leave you there. My five minute walk around stretch out. It's over. I got to get back and make some notes because he's going to be here anytime and uh, I want to be ready. And so, all right, guys, thanks for watching. 